Royal Family Live, Queen Elizabeth II's touching handwritten letter to William revealed. Queen Elizabeth II died in September at Balmoral Castle, leaving King Charles III to accede to the throne. A touching letter from Her Majesty to her grandson Prince William has resurfaced. The handwritten letter read, William, I hope you enjoy opening this each day, Granny, in reference to an advent calendar. Royal fans gushed over the touching note from 25 years ago. Twitter user at LoveFamilyWalls said, oh, I have never seen this. They had such a lovely relationship. A second user at BalCMR said, Oh how lovely. Beautiful, precious memory to treasure. According to the Daily Mail, the note was auctioned off by RR Auction in Boston back in 2016 after it was sold to the company by a former employee of Princess Diana. Royal family given chance to celebrate Christmas before Harry drops bombshells. In the new year. Prince Harry's memoir will hit stores worldwide as many royal commentators predict the book will contain further revelations from within the royal family. Penguin Random House has confirmed the global release date for Prince Harry's much-anticipated memoir will be January 10 next year. The book had initially been tentatively scheduled for publication in the autumn of this year, although it seems there have been some delays in the editing and production process. The news has asserted King Charles will be able to enjoy his first Christmas since becoming monarch ahead of any fallout from his son's bombshell book. Prince Harry's memoir delay down to issue in America with Michelle Obama's book, claim. The Duke of Sussex's book could have been delayed due to it clashing with Michelle Obama's, a royal expert has pointed out. Prince Harry's highly anticipated memoir, billed as a book of raw, unflinching honesty, will be published in the new year, it has been announced. Harry's book is called Spare, a reference to the phrase The Heir and the Spare and will be released globally on January 10. But the Daily Mail's royal editor Rebecca English said it may not have been released for Christmas due to Michelle Obama's new book The Light We Carry coming out November 15 this year. Speaking to Palace Confidential, M's English said, it's going to be published on January 10 which is a surprise for a lot in the publishing industry who thought that they would want to capitalize on the Christmas rush. Someone I spoke to said to me they would never hold something of this magnitude over until January. Prince Harry wise enough not to drop truth bombshells in new memoir. With Prince Harry set to release his tell-all memoir in the new year. There has been rampant speculation among royal commentators that the book could contain further truth bombs concerning sensitive palace matters. Since their departure as senior royals, the Duke and Duchess of Sussex have gained notoriety for a series of media interviews in which they leveled some serious allegations against members of the royal family. As the publication date for Spare Nears, royal author Robert Hardman suggested Prince Harry would be wise enough to respect the privacy of the royal household and avoid any additional revelations about the inner workings of the monarchy. Mr. Hardman, who penned the Queen of Our Times, confessed there could be all sorts of problems if Prince Harry decided to drop more truth bombs. However, he told Talk TV's The Royal Tea, my hunch is that Harry won't burn all the bridges with his family. He doesn't need to for this to be a sensational international bestseller. He can just tell us the story of his childhood. Meghan Kadri launched the TIG blog. The Duchess of Sussex has sparked speculation over a potential return of her successful lifestyle blog, the TIG, after submitting a trademark application for its name. Her bid was first rejected six months ago, when the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office said the description of the website was too broad and the paperwork had been left unsigned. Now, however, the Duchess of Sussex seems closer to seeing her application approved after, as her first submission some bid 12 months ago was rectified with the assistance of an additional lawyer, Danielle Weiss, and is under examination by the U.S. Federal Agency. Harry may be wise enough to respect royal privacy. Royal author Robert Hardman has suggested Prince Harry would be wise enough to respect the privacy of the royal household and avoid any additional revelations about the inner workings of the monarchy. He said, My hunch is that Harry won't burn all the bridges with his family. He doesn't need to for this to be a sensational international bestseller. He can just tell us the story of his childhood.
wise enough to respect royal privacy. Royal author Robert Hardman has suggested Prince Harry would be wise enough to respect the privacy of the royal household and avoid any additional revelations about the inner workings of the monarchy. He said, my hunch is that Harry won't burn all the bridges with his family. He doesn't need to for this to be a sensational international bestseller. He can just tell us the story of his childhood.